All right, good morning, everyone. <clears throat> I'm still waiting on my Express Funded account. It's probably going to take days before my Express Funded account uh, gets set up. But um, in this video, guys, I wanted to go over uh, a video that I made last night about our economic releases that we uh, had today. And, and I told you to avoid the New York AM session. Um, and I just wanted to review here what the New York AM session has looked like on the NASDAQ. And guys, I got, you know, I understand that those are not my most, that was not my most popular video. It didn't even get a single like. Um, but gentlemen, if you want to be a professional, is that the market in which you really want to play? I mean, I get it, guys. We all want to trade. But that's, this is why I told you to avoid, avoid economic releases. This is why Michael says to avoid economic releases. Does that look like a lot of fun to you? Is it tradable? Yeah. But does that look like a lot of fun to you? I mean, it doesn't look like a lot of fun to me, guys. It looks like a market that has almost no inefficiencies and is just taking outside, taking uh, both sides of the book of liquidity. So they take buy side and they also took sell side. So I told you to wait until New York lunch at least, which is at 0,200, or even wait till 1330, which is the New York PM open. I told you to avoid this um, AM session. <clears throat> Um, looking at the London session from 0200, let's go from 0145 to 0530. That was more of a tradable market. You had a short right there for sure. But guys, look at 0830 to 0 to 1200. Is that the market that you that looks the most appealing to you? Because it doesn't look very appealing to me, and that's why um, yesterday I said I told you. Got to avoid these economic releases, guys. Wait until the session after the economic release, um, if it's going to happen like this one during the during the AM session. So, anyways, guys, uh, this was a cautionary tale on avoiding that economic release.